Hey, guess what? I am back today with some new MoU London plates from the Flower Power collection. I'm going to show you Flower Power 02, Flower Power 08, and Flower Power 10. Um, all of the plates I got are the XL version. There are smaller versions of these images uh, that you can get, and the smaller, um, the place with the smaller images actually have a few additional images as well. So uh, if you have smaller nails and don't have to worry about that, you might want to just go on ahead and, and get those and get some additional um, images. But for me, I want these to cover my full nail, and my nails are sometimes a little bit longer. So each of these images is a little over half an inch, not quite to uh, three quarters of an inch, so halfway between that. And then lengthwise, we have right just over three quarters of an inch. And that's going to be true of all of these. Okay, I got these three because I feel like these have um, slightly different feels to them. There is some overlap, so I feel like uh, this has a very Art Deco geometric kind of feel to it. Uh, and some of the images on this plate do as well, but this has a little bit more of a kind of country feel thrown in with some of the some of the designs as well. Uh, and then this one is more of your traditional florals. So let's go on ahead and look at these. So in the Art Deco one, this is like little buds or little hearts growing out, and this is like a flower fan. Or I love the way the circles play together with that. And then you've got like little half flowers here. And these are like these are little eyeballs or uh, you know circles, whatever you want to call. Notice with a lot of these are easy ways you can decorate just with dotting tools. Going in there with dotting tools, um, you can do uh, decals with these. So you print, you know, stamp this out in one color, and then you can color different parts of it uh, as a decal and then apply it. Um, reverse stamping technique. I love this. is like stacks of tulips, so cute. And then this is like little um, sideways ones making kind of flower stars. Very cool. And this is a little bit more of a, a traditional just open flower and then we've got a side view of a flower. Um, this has a 70s feel to me, like a 60s, 70s feel. I feel like it should be stamped in those sorts of mustard uh, and the olive greens and that kind of thing. Um, this gets almost to more of like a renaissance feel to me and then Back here we've got like geometric tulips and a uh, very circular sort of design with little flowers in them. All right, let's look at O2. I'm kind of out of order here, but so this has, these have a little bit, like I said, a little bit more of a country feel. I love this though, like with the circle on top of the leaves. Uh, I've never seen anything quite like that before. And again, you could decorate that with different dots or however you want to do that. Um, this is more of the country kind of feel that I'm talking about. It almost looks like these could have been embroidered or like they're made of lace and I think that's really pretty. This is definitely one of the more Art Deco-y kind of ones for me and it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, I love the leafy look on this. It's great for um, fall or for summer. Um, this almost looks a little bit to me like parts of a UFO or like some um, futuristic technology or a very futuristic kind of flower. And then this is one of the more um, country styles. Again, I love this. This is almost like wheels, spokes from a bicycle or dandelions, or you could kind of get a lot of out of that. And then this combines a, a couple of different ones. Oh, again, I love this, the leaves and then the little, um, uh, I don't know, is that a pistol, piston, or I, I don't know what the part, that part of the flower is, but that little part of the flower that has like the pollen -y tips sticking out, I love that. And then you've got this bigger um, flower here. And again, notice that you could go in and you could put different colors behind this to make uh, any kind of color combination you want. This would be another great one for dotting if you wanted to do something with dotting or to decal out. And then we've got this more um, deco-y kind of flower combination again. So this is another plate where you can stamp it just as is. You can decorate, do some reverse stamping stuff. Like going in here with different colors and doing a stained glass effect would be amazing. All right, and then the third plate is a little bit different. Okay, so this is plate 08. Um, again, you can stamp these directly on. You could do decals, um, but it's not quite the same effect as you're going to get with those other ones that have that more stacked appearance. So this is a little bit more of the traditional kind of floral look that you get in stamping plates. So you've got, you know, a pretty much a main element and then a decoration around it with flourishes and that kind of stuff. The style is a little bit, you know, unique, of course, to other plates, but the real reason why I bought this one was for 
um, the negative space images. So I've mentioned before in my videos that with these kinds of images, you know, this dark part is where your polish is going to shine through, the base polish, and your stamping polish is the lighter color. So what an image like that allows you to do is like what I've got on my nails right now. It allows you to let uh, the flower, um, if you have a beautiful hollow or something that won't stamp, but that you want to shine through as your flower, it allows you to get that kind of a look. So I wanted um, a couple of cool images like that. All right, let's take a look. So this has a very kind of thistle feel to me. I really think that's very cool. Um, this has a, a very henna kind of feel to me. This is this beautiful lotus blossom with the little lotuses around it. And notice there's a little bit of an Art Deco feel to that too. I love this. with the, It's almost like a dragonfly and then the flowers there and little bluebells so pretty and then the birds oh so this is almost like a chintz pattern but um, the feel to it is a little bit different all right let's take a look at the negative space row so this one I love that there's a spray of flowers and leaves all over it for you to let your base polish shine through and this one has the gorgeous flower here up at the top and then some leaves and stuff down at the bottom that are going to shine through. This has the, the three flowers all around it, so that would be beautiful with like a beautiful pink or a beautiful coral hollow. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And then this one has like a tulip flower with the other ones coming up around it. And I love the heart here with the flower hanging down. That's so sweet. And then this one, you've got your main flower at the bottom and the other flowers growing up like this great symbol of spring. All right, let's see how they stamp. Okay, for my stamping test, I'm going to use my um, crystal stamper, and I'm going to use Conad Black uh, for my stamping polish. Gorgeous, perfect pickup. And you can see that has just great transfer, and the image came out very nice. Okay, so that was plate 08. Let's try 02. Beautiful pickup. And, and you can see another beautiful image. All right, so let's try the last one, plate 10. You can see that it's still picked up really beautifully. And you can see that that image came out beautifully. Okay, so I will um, have everything linked down below in the bottom, and I think these are great plates with great designs, and they stand beautifully. So thank you for watching.